Now, in my humble opinion, and this is just my humble opinion, they should have all become multi-millionaires. Monique, the unapologetic queen of comedy, is making waves in Hollywood yet again. And this time, it's not just with her sharp wit and humor. She's taking a stand and shedding light on the murky world of pay disparities and the mistreatment of black actresses in Tinseltown. What I won't do is be quiet. I won't go away. I won't back down. Monique has never been one to mince words. Time and time again, she has continued to reveal how Hollywood seemingly ruined the careers of black actresses. In fact, in a recently resurfaced interview, Mo shared the shocking revelation that Tiffany Haddish, Gina Hall, Jada Pinkett, and Queen Latifah were significantly underpaid for their roles in the blockbuster hit Girls Trip, which raked in over $100 million at the box office. They should have all become multi-millionaires off of that film. This is a stark reminder of the industry's track record when it comes to recognizing and rewarding the talents of black actresses. But this isn't the first time Monique has taken Hollywood to task. She was previously embroiled in a major fallout with industry heavyweights Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, and Lee Daniels. This past controversy seems to be closely tied to her current views on the challenges facing black actresses. In a compelling twist, Monique presented evidence of Hollywood's unequal pay scales. She referenced the Forbes list of the top 10 highest paid actresses in Hollywood for 2017, highlighting the glaring absence of women of color on that list. That's the full time highest paid actresses in full. Now, people are saying, how come there are no women of color on this list. This glaring disparity underscores the need for change in the industry. In any case, Monique's crusade for pay equity and fair treatment has garnered support from fellow comedians and entertainers. Luanelle, another comedic powerhouse, lauded Monique's courage to stand up for what's right. Luanelle emphasized the importance of women in comedy standing together in solidarity. In any case, after digging deeper into the matter, it seems like Monique's claims about the entertainment world might actually have some validity. And guess what? But there's some juicy dish to spill. You see, there's a bunch of fabulous black actresses who were the reigning queens of the 2000s, but it turns out that Tinseltown decided to give them the cold shoulder. So let's have a look at these black queens and what actually happened to their careers. Stacey Dash. Hello, my weakness. How you doing? Oh. I was waiting for you inside. Why? I wanted to ask you to marry me. Stacey Dash, a name well known to Hollywood and television audiences, has been both a celebrated actress and a controversial public figure. Her journey in the entertainment industry is a stark reflection of the challenges faced by black women, revealing a Hollywood that can be ruthless and unforgiving. Dash's career in Hollywood began on a high note with her breakout role in the 1995 film Clueless, where she portrayed the fashionable and feisty Dionne Davenport. So, the shopping with Dr. Seuss? But well, at least I wouldn't skin a collie to make my backpack. It's faux. Hello? That was a stop sign? I totally paused. The film's success catapulted her into the limelight, and she became a recognized face in the industry. However, her career took a tumultuous path, marked by controversies, personal struggles, and professional challenges. One of the controversies that engulfed Dash during her career was her vocal support for conservative political views, which placed her in a divisive spotlight. In a predominantly liberal industry, her outspoken conservative stance made her an outlier, leading to significant backlash and even accusations of being a traitor to her own community. Dash's experiences shed light on the industry's intolerance towards divergent political ideologies, especially when voiced by black women. In 2012, Dash publicly endorsed Mitt Romney in the presidential election, a move that garnered widespread attention and criticism. I believe him. You know, he... I've watched him for a while. She faced a barrage of insults and derogatory comments from those who disagreed with her political stance. This incident exemplifies the industry's tendency to ostracize black women who express views that differ from the mainstream. As Dash's career progressed, she encountered professional challenges that further exposed the industry's harsh realities. She spoke openly about her struggles to find substantial roles and her perception that the industry typecast her as the quintessential angry black woman. At that time in my life, it was uh, who I was. And I realized in 2016 that anger is unsustainable. 
This pigeonholing of black actresses into limited stereotypical roles is a systemic issue in Hollywood, perpetuating racial biases and limiting opportunities for talented black women. But despite her challenges, Dash's career continued, with appearances in various television shows and films, although her prominence waned. She joined the cast of the reality TV show Single Ladies, which offered her a platform to regain visibility in the industry. However, Dash's journey also included personal trials, such as a tumultuous marriage marriage and legal issues. Her complex personal life and the public scrutiny she faced added another layer to the challenges that black women in the industry endure. In 2020, Dash announced her withdrawal from the political sphere, recognizing the divisiveness it had caused. She expressed a desire to return to acting and storytelling, emphasizing her love for the craft that had initially propelled her to stardom. Dash's evolution and willingness to admit her missteps demonstrate a resilience often required of black women navigating Hollywood's unforgiving terrain. Reagan Gomez Preston, too young to be this boring. We need some friends. We are not boring. We're living the dream. Reagan Gomez Preston, a seasoned actress known for her candidness and advocacy, has not only graced Hollywood stage, but also tirelessly exposed the dark underbelly of an industry that often thrives on hypocrisy and racial insensitivity. Her journey is a testament to the immense challenges faced by black women, who, despite their undeniable talent, are often relegated to the fringes of the entertainment world. In the grand theater of Hollywood, where glitz and glamour are paraded as virtues, Reagan Gomez Preston's experiences serve as a stark reminder that not everything that shines is gold. Controversies have, time and again, swirled around her, casting a shadow on her promising career. However, it's essential to understand that many of these controversies were not of her own making, but were rather orchestrated by external forces that sought to exploit and manipulate narratives for their own gains. One of the standout moments in Gomez Preston's career was her vocal condemnation of Bill O'Reilly's racially insensitive comments about slavery. While O'Reilly downplayed the horrors of slavery, Reagan Gomez Preston used her platform to expose the skewed historical view that still plagues America. Her actions were a stark reminder that, in Hollywood, speaking out against injustice often comes at a personal cost, as it challenges the status quo and threatens the fragile narrative of those in power. But controversies weren't the only challenges Reagan faced in her journey. Personal issues, invasive media scrutiny, and the distortion of her private life became par for the course. Hollywood's ruthless paparazzi and sensationalist tabloids created an environment that left her exposed, vulnerable, and at times unfairly portrayed. On the professional front, Reagan Gomez Preston encountered the deeply entrenched biases against black women in Hollywood. Opportunities for substantial roles were scarce, forcing her into a dilemma. Stick to her principles or accept underwritten stereotypical roles that perpetuated harmful narratives. It was a heartbreaking choice, one that illustrated the industry's apathy toward diversity and equal representation. Reagan Gomez Preston's journey also included a stint on the popular series That 70s Show. Oh, hey, Melissa. How's the contest going? Lame. But at least the boneheads are entertaining. Check out that idiot's fro. While many cherish memories of the show, her experience was marred by the unsettling realities of Hollywood. She faced an atmosphere that didn't live up to the jovial facade presented to the public. Her revelations about the treatment she received on set, particularly the comments from a director urging her to have less sass, shed light on the systemic racism lurking behind the scenes. In the face of these adversities, Reagan Gomez Preston emerged as a beacon of hope and a voice for change. Her unwavering commitment to challenging the industry's status quo serves as a reminder that the entertainment world, like the society it reflects, has deep-rooted issues that need addressing. As we delve into Reagan Gomez Preston's narrative, it becomes clear that Hollywood, with its dazzling exterior, often conceals a darker, more sinister side. The story of Reagan Gomez Preston sheds light on the harsh realities faced by black women in the industry, where opportunities are limited, controversies are exploited, and personal lives are ruthlessly scrutinized. Nicole Robinson In the glitzy and glamorous world of Hollywood, where dreams often meet with glittering success, Nicole Robinson's journey has been a stark reminder of the ruthlessness lurking beneath the surface. As a black woman in the industry, her path has been fraught with controversies, personal struggles, and professional challenges that cast a shadow over her career. Her journey began in the fashion world when she started modeling in Europe at the tender age of 13. Her big break came when she caught the eye of a talent agent during an elite modeling competition. 
competition in New York. Interestingly, she wasn't initially chosen, but her return to retrieve forgotten car keys changed her fate. Nicole soon found herself working with prestigious brands like Revlon, Victoria's Secret, Neutrogena, Gap, and Paco Rabanne in the late 90s. She transitioned into commercials and made cameo appearances in movies like Psychic Detectives and Any Given Sunday, which featured stars like Al Pacino, Oliver Stone, and Jamie Foxx. The early 2000s marked a turning point in her career. Maxine Magazine recognized her as one of the 100 women in 2002, the same year she appeared in Aerosmith's music video for Girls of Summer. Furthermore, she tackled her first significant acting role as Yvonne Freeman in the 2003 film Love Don't Cost a Thing. In the movie, she played a popular high school cheerleader and the best friend of Christina Millian's character Paris, who later vied for the affection of Drew after he gained popularity. Nicole entered a relationship with Trey Parker, co-creator of South Park, which lasted for approximately a year or two. She also secured a role in the 2004 movie Torque and portrayed Pepper in the TV series Huff from 2004 to 2006. Toward the end of the decade, Nicole's acting career experienced a lull. However, she made a resurgence in the 2010s. She auditioned for a role in Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof in the mid-2000s. And while Tarantino initially envisioned a blonde, blue-eyed character, he promised Nicole a role in a future project. In 2011, that promise materialized when Nicole was cast in Tarantino's Western film Django Unchained, starring Jamie Foxx and Leonardo DiCaprio. She played the role of Sheba, a high-ranking female slave and the mistress of DiCaprio's character. This role thrust Nicole back into the limelight. Two years later, in 2013, she landed a role in Zach Braff's dramedy film, Wish I Was Here. In 2015, Nicole played an alien named Kinsey in the third season of the sci-fi series, Defiance. Subsequently, she secured various smaller roles and starred in the independent film, Supermodel, based on Jay Manuel's book, The Wig, The and the Meltdown, which revolves around a fictional supermodel hosting a reality model competition show. Beyond her on-screen success, Nicole is a philanthropist who established her own nonprofit, The Orchard Foundation, which mentors underserved girls and provides scholarships. Fawn Watkins Chambers. This is Paris. Indeed we are. Gina. Mwah. 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 <laughs> Tony? Vaughn Chambers, originally hailing from Florida, relocated to Virginia when she was nine years old. In Virginia, she became a member of the Atrium Dance Company and actively participated in dance competitions. Later on, her journey took her to Atlanta, Georgia, where she attended North Atlanta High School and continued her dance pursuits at Warner Studio. After graduating from high school, Fawn made an unexpected turn by enrolling at Spelman College to pursue a degree entirely unrelated to dance. However, destiny had other plans for her. A successful audition for Prince changed the course of her life, prompting her to move to Los Angeles and wholeheartedly commit to her dance career. In Los Angeles, she secured roles as a dancer in music videos, including those by Trina and Tamara, Would You Come Here, Destiny's Child, Say My Name, Tamaya, So Into You, Jennifer Lopez, Feeling So Good, and Janet Jackson, Doesn't Really Matter. Fawn's journey continued as she even had the opportunity to join Michael Jackson on tour for a performance of Dangerous in South Korea. Her face, her lines divinity in motion. Transitioning from music videos, Fawn ventured into the world of film and television. She gained recognition as a credited dancer on television shows like Nikki and Everybody Loves Raymond. Additionally, she made appearances in movies such as Save the Last Dance, like Mike, The Beautician, and Austin Powers in Goldmember. A pivotal moment in her career arrived in 2004 when Fawn secured her first significant acting role, starring in the sequel to Bring It On as Monica. This marked a significant year for her as she took on four major acting projects. In addition to Bring It On Again, she appeared as Sheena in one episode of All of Us, had a minor role in the film Breaking All the Rules, and notably starred in the Wyans Brothers film White Chicks as Marcus's jealous wife. Throughout the rest of the 2000s, Fawn continued to take on minor roles in sitcoms and television series, and her personal life also blossomed during this time. She had been dating Fawnsworth Bentley since the early 2000s, and in 2010, they tied the knot. The couple welcomed two children in 2013 and 2016. In the past decade, Fawn's acting career may have slowed down, but she has remained active in the industry. Joy Bryant. Hey. Mm. 
Dirty 30s are almost over. Oh God, don't remind me. <laughs> Joy Bryant, known for her roles in Parenthood and various other film and television projects, has been an emblem of strength and resilience in an industry that often marginalizes black women. During her formative years, Joy was actively involved in gifted programs and had the privilege of attending Westminster Private Boarding School in Connecticut on a full scholarship. It was during this time that she excelled academically and secured a scholarship to Yale University. While at Yale during her sophomore year, Joy's life took a turn when she was discovered by a modeling scout from Next Models Management. This pivotal moment propelled her into a full-fledged modeling career in the mid-1990s. She successfully landed campaigns with renowned brands such as Ralph Lauren, Gap, Victoria's Secret, and Tommy Hilfiger, with whom she held exclusive deals. Joy graced the covers of numerous magazines and her presence was further solidified when she made a memorable appearance in Il Al Scratch's music video for I'll Take Her in 1994. Transitioning from modeling, Joy ventured into acting. Her acting debut came in Robert Townsend's 2001 film Carmen, a hip hop era, where she starred alongside Beyonce and Mickey Pfeffer, marking the beginning of her acting journey. Angel Conwell. I think you should have discussed it with your family first. Angel Conwell, a talented actress who embarked on her journey in Hollywood at a young age, has weathered the storms of an industry that often presents a facade of glamour while concealing its ruthlessness beneath the surface. Her story is one of persistence, adaptability, and resilience, offering a glimpse into the challenges faced by black women in the entertainment world. Conwell's entry into Hollywood was marked by her beauty and versatility. From her early days as a model to her transition into acting, her journey was driven by a passion for healing people through laughter and storytelling. Raised in South Carolina, her dreams led her to New York, where she began her career in modeling at a young age, showcasing her determination to chase her dreams. Her early roles in TV series like Dave's World and appearances on shows like Sabrina the Teenage Witch and The Parkers were instrumental in establishing her presence in the industry. Yet it was her role in Soul Plane, alongside renowned stars like Kevin Hart and Snoop Dogg, that hinted at her potential as a versatile actress. Despite her undeniable talent, Conwell faced the harsh realities of an industry that can be unforgiving to black women. Opportunities for substantial roles were limited, and typecasting was a constant challenge. The Hollywood spotlight, though alluring, cast a harsh glare on her personal life, and navigating the media's intrusive gaze was yet another aspect of her journey. One of her career highlights was her role as Leslie Michelson on the daytime soap opera The Young and the Restless. While the transition to soap operas presented a new challenge, Conwell embraced it wholeheartedly, immersing herself in the role by researching the life of a lawyer and the terminology they use daily. This commitment to her craft demonstrated her dedication to delivering compelling performances. Another significant chapter in her career was her role in the sitcom Family Time. Notably, she starred alongside her ex-partner, Omar Gooding, showcasing their ability to maintain a professional relationship despite their romantic history. Their chemistry on screen was a testament to their friendship and mutual respect, a rarity in an industry where personal relationships can often be strained. In recent years, Conwell took on the role of Veronica in the BET series Bigger, further solidifying her presence in the television landscape. Her journey through Hollywood marked by its ups and downs is a testament to her resilience, adaptability, and the ability to thrive in an industry that can be particularly unforgiving to black women. In any case, in the world of Hollywood, where dreams are woven into reality and stardom seems attainable, these remarkable women, Nicole Robinson, Fawn Watkins Chambers, Reagan Gomez Preston, Angel Conwell, Joy Bryant, and Stacey Dash have each etched their own unique narratives. They've faced triumphs and tribulations, personal revelations, and professional hurdles, all within an industry that has historically been unforgiving, especially towards black women. Their stories, filled with resilience, talent, and unwavering spirit, serve as testaments to the complex and diverse experiences of black women in Hollywood. While the glitz and glamour often take center stage, the struggles they've encountered countered behind the scenes remain an important part of the narrative. Anyway, that's it for this video. Bye.